and uh, it was the warm-up tournament, and I won singles and doubles there, so I think it was really good to play that, get used to the grass, and I was with my coach, Natalie Tosia, and she, um, and we worked a lot on moving up to the net, uh, being aggressive, that's the game style I like to play, and on grass, I think it works really well. So uh, when I got to Wimbledon, you know, I was really confident, I won the tournament the week before, um, you know, I was practicing well, so... Uh, uh, I was just, I was playing really well, I was confident in the finals, I wasn't really nervous and I think it was a really good experience to play on court one, it was really cool and um, you know, I'm just happy with the way I played and I'm really excited that, you know, I made history when Canada's first single slam, so um, you know, it was a great week and I'm looking forward to the future playing pro tournaments and just, you know, improving my game. Try to speak in English because my French is not very good, but um, anyways, yeah, to be honest, I'm as surprised as anyone else about the result at Wimbledon because I hadn't won a match on grass previously and to be honest, I just I went out into Wimbledon without any expectations and just played every match one at a time and uh, saved the big one in the semifinals. So uh, it was really a great experience for me playing on court one. Lost first round in the warm up, so to be honest, I just went in and played and got a rematch in the quarterfinals with, with the guy that I lost to in the warm up, so that was a big confidence booster. And in the finals, I just tried to enjoy it as much as possible, play loose, and go for my shots because this is my third final of the Grand Slam in the year, and I didn't really want to have any regrets for not going for the match. And, waiting for the guy to give it to me, so I just went for it and played my game and slowly got into it once I started coming back after going down. Um, once I got that first set, that was a big confidence booster for me and uh, yeah, um, since from that point on I just went for it and was at tunnel vision basically, just was focused on the task and getting to that match point and taking it as soon as I had it. So. An amazing experience, and since then, uh, all the attention that we've been getting is amazing. I think that the exposure for tennis in Canada now, because of that, is unbelievable. And uh, I think not only for me and Jeannie, but for tennis in general here, it's a great achievement. I was not thinking about the score, I was not thinking that I was in a Wimbledon final, I was just focused on what I had to do and uh, playing the right way, which I think I did, I played really aggressive and I really, you know, won, you know, won the match and um, I think uh, that's, that's what I've gone through. Philip, uh, I was reading that uh, you sort of took an uh, win as, as sort of a, an extra little bit incentive for you to do better. Yeah, well, um, it was definitely very inspiring to do what Jeannie had done and I really wanted the same feeling that she had after winning. I also obviously had two previous finals and I wasn't going to let Jeannie be the only one that was winning that, that week, so... <laughs> um, yeah, it definitely motivated me and I was just really happy about Jeannie winning just for Canada in general and for her, obviously she works hard, so... Uh, I thought that if two Canadians won, it would be an even more amazing achievement. I think that because I had a lot of time the week before to prepare, it really helped me out because honestly I played three matches on grass in my life and the year before it was raining a lot so I really didn't get a chance to prepare. Uh, I tried to also take the lessons I learned from all my previous losses from the year before and the, from the warm-up tournament and to try to work as hard as I could on everything I need to improve to get used to the grass court game and I think that I did a good job of that and I had a not an easy first round, it was tough, straight sets but it was a tough match and got through that and that was the biggest one I think just to get that first win and kind of get on a roll again so um, once I started getting it a little bit it was getting better every match so that was it basically, and I think that I also wasn't thinking too much about the result itself. I was just trying to go out and play my game and go for every match because, as I said, I didn't really have too many expectations, so there wasn't too much pressure on me to really do well there. And
once, as I said, once I had the opportunity to take it, I did. Parce que, vous savez, les deux, ils ont battu des joueurs qui vont retrouver sur le circuit professionnel. Et ça, ça reste. Ça reste. C'est des victoires que Génie a eues et que Philippe a eues. Ça reste. Et leurs adversaires vont avoir en tête qu'ils ont perdu dans un grand chelem contre Génie ou Philippe. I'm playing US Open for sure. It's a big tournament for me, and I want to finish the year off well. Hopefully, have another run. And uh, yeah, it's my last chance this year to play or ever to play a junior Grand Slam, so I'm going to enjoy it. Well, yeah, for sure, I'm going to play. I mean, it's the tournament in my hometown, my you know, home club almost. So. Um, I mean, I don't know if I'll play quality on my job, but I'm always looking forward to playing, especially when it's in Montreal. And uh, I think, uh, you know, I'll be ready to play, and it's always you know, a great experience. What, what do you need to improve in your game to be able to the I think playing more at the top level, you know, just playing against all the players, you know, top 100, top 200, just playing more at that level and uh, getting, getting used to it and knowing that you can beat the players at that level because. You know, it's it's you know they're very close and they're within reach. So I think just playing more at that level, and uh, I'll, I'll be there. Jimmy. And all the training we have here, all the facilities, the coaching staff, uh, everyone behind it, pretty much, gives us a structured base to go to whenever we need to train, and basically gives us every mean, means we need to succeed. And I think that. Because we have this opportunity and everyone, all the top players in Canada are here, it's the best place to be at the moment. Eugenie, do you feel the same way about the program, that it's paying off now after a lot of interest? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is definitely uh, being able to travel, you know, their funding and being able to play all the tournaments, you know, getting out of Canada and playing all the toughest tournaments in Europe and South America and everywhere. I think that's the biggest thing to. Um, because tennis is an international sport, you know, so we have to travel everywhere, and I think uh, going to play the best tournaments in the world will, you know, make us the best in the world. Yeah. I expect a year like this. Um, I knew that if I played my best tennis on a very, very consistent basis, it was possible to do something like this, but I never really expected it. I just tried to work as hard as I could get the opportunity to maybe win a Grand Slam, but honestly I didn't didn't think that I would have a record like this and be number one after Wimbledon. Um, yeah, I definitely, it was a big surprise for me. Nous sommes devenus une nation ambitieuse. 
ambitieuse, on ne va pas se contenter de peu, on va continuer à travailler fort, même très fort, pour pouvoir rejoindre les grandes nations de l'Église. I think that now we're probably going to, well, I'll speak for myself, but we're probably going to be trying to play a lot more pro tournaments. Obviously, since my ranking is going to be pretty stable till the end of the year, I can focus a lot more on that. And my ultimate goal is obviously to, as Louis said, win Grand Slams in the pro circuit, and I'm just going to try to work our way up to that, starting with futures and challengers for me. And uh, keep getting my ranking up, keep getting the experience on the tour against the top players, so that's basically it for me. Yeah, um, well winning a, a Junior Grand Slam was one of my goals this year, and so I accomplished that. And uh, I mean, it doesn't really change my short-term plan. I may or may not play US Open, but besides that, uh, you know, pro tournaments, I'm going to play um, ITF, uh, pros, and uh, WTAs. And um, yeah, just keep working on my game, and that's the short-term plan.